Hi, I'm John Liebman, founder and first baseman of ForBassPlayersOnly.com. What's the most important thing a bass player should do? Stick around, you're going to find out right now. I've been teaching bass a long time. I've also interviewed over 800 bass players for my site, so I'm always getting new and interesting insights to help people learn bass. One such interview was with Lincoln Goines. Now, if you don't know Lincoln, he's been on the faculty of Berklee College of Music in Boston for years and years. And he's played with everyone from Sonny Rollins to Carly Simon, Mike Stern, Michael Brecker, Paquito de Rivera, and so many others. So when I asked Lincoln what advice he had for someone who wants to learn bass, he definitely sounded like someone with a lot of experience. I think the most important thing a bassist can do, Lincoln says, regardless of your age or what level you're at, is to learn how to listen, because the role of the bass is to guide the whole band. He says you have to be able to listen and not just play your instrument. And that kind of opens up a two-way street. I mean, the bass player, along with the drummer, lays down the foundation for the band. We establish the groove. We make the music feel good. So doesn't that mean that the other people in the band, the guitar player, the keyboard player, the horn players, the singer, the soloists, aren't they supposed to listen to us? Well, of course they are. But the whole thing about playing in a band is that it's like having a conversation with other people. It's give and take. We inspire the other members of the band, they pick up on what we're doing, and they in turn inspire us with something we may not have expected. And we take that and run with it, and it becomes a cycle. Now, I'm not talking about showing off your chops. I'm talking about interplay, listening, really listening, and playing off each other. What you don't want to do is play the bass with blinders on, unaware of what's going on around you. You might say, but I'm laying down a really good groove. My time is right on. The feel is there. It's happening. Okay. Maybe, but you're not there to play in a vacuum. You're there to be part of an ensemble. You're a cog in a wheel. You're one piece of the puzzle. Everything's got to fit together. That's when things really start to happen. Now, I'm not saying you're guilty of ignoring everyone else. I'm just pointing out that sometimes it's easy to get pretty deeply entrenched only in what you're doing, neglecting what everyone else is doing. And even though it's not intentional, it throws off the balance of what's best for the music. And when that happens, the band gets pulled down. And when the band gets pulled down, the audience feels it. There are so many great things you can pick up on when you find that balance of focusing on what you're doing with what everyone else in the band is doing. And that could mean articulation, dynamics, energy levels, tempo changes. The interaction between band members can be a beautiful thing, and it can take the whole experience to great places. And the audience picks up on that, too. That's for sure. Lincoln calls it having a heads up. Learn how to play heads up, he says. Have one ear listening to what's going on around you in terms of guiding the ensemble. It's crucial, he says. And if you've been following me for any length of time, or if you're a member of the Bottom Line Club, Learning Bass at ForBassPlayersOnly.com, then you've heard me talk about it a lot. The bass plays a supportive role in the band, a vital role. And the bass player needs to interact with the drummer and with the rest of the band. That's how you make the music feel good. There's a PDF I want you to download. It's called 12 Surefire Tips to Make You a Better Bass Player. I compiled it from interviews I've done with 12 excellent players, including Lincoln Goines, in fact. And it's got some very useful and practical action items you can put to work right away with your bass playing. It's totally free. I just want to share it with you because there's a lot of great information there you're sure to find helpful. Click the link below this video and download it now. 12 surefire tips to make you a better bass player. And leave a comment let me know what you think. And be sure to subscribe to the For Bass Players Only YouTube channel. There is a treasure trove of great stuff right here for anyone who likes bass and who likes learning bass. 
That's all for now. I'll see you next week. I'm John Liebman. Let's play bass.